All right, what is up? Welcome back. Oh, uh, it is very, very late. One second, let me correct a little bit. Okay, I think that'll be fine. It's very late, and the only reason I'm doing this is because I don't think I will sleep very well if I don't. So, I'm just going to get a jump start on it. Basically, just going to put this all back together. Enough time has elapsed in the process of me doing this that I kind of forgot the order, and I've only done this a couple of times. So, we'll do a full put together and talk about it. Uh, my face itches. And yeah, that'll pretty much that'll pretty much be the video. I'm, I'm I'm excited about it. Should be fun. Basically, I just took this little hinge thing off, moved to the side so I can get a better look at the layout that was going on. And that is correct. Okay. So this needs to be upside down there, underneath this plate here and that sits on top of there as well as that a lot of those screws other parts of these go up on the top this goes there obviously I suppose I could probably just put that on right now the only reason I took this off was because it made it a little bit easier to access the charging arm <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, there we go. So, might as well get the ball rolling here. Doing the Lord's work. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we're going to do. We're just going to put this back together. This is uh, obviously something I don't recommend you do yourself because... Uh, it's just the juice really isn't worth the squeeze. Um, the instances in which you would probably want to do this would be if you had to replace the uh, take-up spool here for whatever reason, or um, wanted to tear apart your can. I don't know. There's really not a good reason that I can think of. The A1s, uh, for a while, I was seeing a lot that had the take-up spool here, or the advanced spool. That was, like, ripped in half. So, this would be helpful in accessing all of this to, to get to that point. But, honestly, I would say just don't even buy that camera. <laughs> like, the only reason I know about that is because my boss was buying a bunch of them. And... That made my life kind of miserable for a while, but that's okay. Life goes on. Okay, only crying a little bit because ball bearings scare me. But I think I got that in relatively okay. So that sits there. And then <coughs> this so far as I can tell, pretty much just sits right on top of there, like that. And then this has to line up. I think that is, that is officially lined up there. So that's pretty stinking sweet. And we have the three black screws there that get Maybe. Maybe. I thought that was that. Okay. That did that that was not promising. I don't feel solid about that. Are these all different? They all might be different. That that might be a Yep. Alright, well goof that one up. Man enough to admit my mistakes. Please come out. Don't be shy. 
Um, but yeah, this is this is not something I recommend doing for a multitude of seemingly obvious reasons. I think my confusion and also sleep deprivation is probably speaking to that right now. Why won't you come out? Come on. There we go. Oh, so close. This is it. This is the whole video. <laughs> Just me trying to fish a screw out. And it's funny because like I used to get all these comments and I still do sometimes on my older videos when people are like, oh, your desk is a mess. How do you find anything? I'm like, I, I've done this so long. I know what all this different screws look like. And then stuff like this happens where I'm just like utterly goofing up. And it's just, you know, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm a moron. Okay. So that's all, that's all zoinked in there properly. Hopefully, hopefully. Or not, or does not. Okay, let's re-examine. Basically there is the, um, so there is a, a uh, little sprocket that sits underneath here that needs to kind of line up with, there we go. See, that's how it's supposed to be. So I don't know why it's, oh, fuck me. God damn it, you son of a bitch. Okay, let's just start over. Um, there is a sprocket thing that the teeth of it need to line up with the others, yada, yada, yada. There's also a spring mechanism that sits on this is this one terrifies me because ball bearings are scary. Please just please just come up. Please don't make a big deal. Okay. Yep, thank you. Thank you. More please, thank you. Uh, this needs to sit on top of there. Anyway, there is a little catch thing there. And then on the bottom here, there's a little notch. So that notch needs to sit in that catch. And then, ooh, happy family. Um, let me see. I need to find a way, which I suppose I could just. Ah! Please go back. I cannot emphasize enough how much ball bearings terrify me. Um, mostly because I just don't, I don't like dealing with them. If I can avoid dealing with ball bearings, um, I will maybe nine times out of 10. That's why I was looking at the F3 repair manual a while ago and it's like, oh, thanks to the help of ball bearings. I'm like, ah, no. And then I got the contacts because I was like, oh, this will be, this will be a good alternative to the F3 because it's all mechanical and has really fast shutter speeds and yeah, 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 yeah. And now I feel like a fucking idiot because the contacts broke and now it works again, but I'm like, I don't think I can trust that ish anymore. Would you just do me a solid for once, camera, and just give me, give me what I'm looking for? You son of a biscuit. Okay. I love working on cameras. I love working on, this is what I love to do. This is a thing that I really love. Um, 
What else can I talk about? Ooh, The Witcher. I watched The Witcher season three, or at least the first part of it. I don't like it. Um, not for like any real reason other than I just think the story quality is terrible. Like at no point in time do I care about any of the characters. And then like, they'll do this thing like, oh, do you remember this guy? And I'm like, I, I guess like visually, cause I'm really good with faces, but I don't remember their name. I don't remember like, any notable things about them other than like yes that is indeed what they look like <laughs> and it's just so weird to me because i feel like the expectation is i'm supposed to care or like sympathize with these characters and they're just written so poorly that i just don't I'm like oh well, this is gonna happen if so and so doesn't do the thing and it's like oh, okay and all this matters why it's very bizarre to me um, I thought like the first season I thought was pretty cool because they did like the whole time thing. And then this is just being difficult because I think, I think it's just that time of day or night. Um, they did the whole time thing. And also there was like more of like the more minor story. So it's like, uh, Geralt or whatever is like hunting down individual monsters and each one has like a bit of a story and it's kind of building the world i'm like yeah that's dope and then it like cut to the witches or the wizards or whatever and they're like doing all their petty drama and it's just like ugh. they're like oh well i don't want to i want more power and i want this and i want to i want to be over here and i want the 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 secrets and I, i'm learning about the obelisk it's just shut up <laughs> it's stupid and like all that stuff because like i love i love lord of the rings i love fantasy stuff so like stuff like that should interest me but it just doesn't like for whatever reason just how it's written is just so like politicized and whiny like not like politics right wing left wing whatever but just like politics like human politics it's just like a lot of talking and like not a lot of doing and like oh we need to get so and so on our side oh my god i am just look at that Look at sometimes, man. Sometimes I just really impress myself. Um, but yeah, it's like all of that stuff would be cool if I cared about the characters, but because I don't, because like all of the characters are bland and boring. Oh man, I am just too good at my job. Um, I just don't care. So it makes it really hard to watch the show, especially the last two seasons, because there's not been a whole lot of monster hunting. Like there's been like one or two monsters and they're not really even that good. And it's like more about like this overarching plot line that again, I don't really care for much. So then I just feel like I'm wasting my time with this show, which you know, arguably I am. Um, and that's not a good feeling to have when you're like watching something. You kind of want to be like excited about it or moderately interested. And I just don't feel that way with The Witcher thus far. So I don't know if anyone else has watched it and what they think about it, but I just feel like the best part of that show was when Henry Cavill's like out in a swamp somewhere slicing and dicing. And instead we get, let's all stand around in a circle and chat for 20 minutes about characters that you may or may not remember for reasons. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not my cup of tea. But, I don't know. And then the whole thing with, like, him being written off the show. It's like, okay. So, just, like, purposely killing shows now? This feels very weird. Uh, there might be a bigger decision behind it. Who's to say? Not me, but it just feels odd. I don't think this is the right one. I think this goes here. Yeah, that is correct. And then I think the one that goes there is... Maybe that one. It's like three or four screws that all kind of look the same. Nope, this is that one, okay. This one? Is it you? It is. 
Man, I'm so good at my job sometimes. It's almost like I do this professionally. Hey, yo, there we go. Okay, so that hooks in like so. Cool. Yeah, it only took 15 minutes to get started on this. Jesus Christ. I'm good, but just not very finished. Okay, that's relatively taken care of for now. Really, the main objective of this project was just to get my desk a little bit more cleared off than it was, because it was kind of getting to be a bit of a nightmare. So I wanted to work on that, because I have, believe it or not, more things to work on. A catch mechanism for the, uh, what am I trying to say? For the rewind switch so yeah watch the witcher not not super fond of it thus far and then i also watched the i do just be watching shows lately um i watched jack ryan the fourth season i think of that And I had thoughts on it. Jesus. I had thoughts on the show. It exists. Um, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, that's why. Doy. Doy. Okay. I goofed. I goofed man enough to admit so this goes down first yes that's the base this right angle piece goes down first and then there is this washer that sits on top fucking hell on top here like so and then this son of a bitch <laughs> this is just gonna be me cursing at myself the whole time and then that sits on top, you whore, like so. Hell yeah. Goes like that. And you could see all of that the whole time because I do a really good job of framing this. I'm sorry. Uh, now I have to take it apart because this has to sit on it. Or potentially I could try, try my very hardest to... Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. These are not the right tweezers for the job. Ah, oh, you bastard. Okay, now I'm just getting really sweaty. Uh, but yeah, Jack Ryan, season... Season four, I think it was. Um, pretty good. So far, I had to rewatch all of it because I don't remember anything that happened. That's one of those shows where I've watched it a couple times now. And each time I watch it, I'm like, have I seen this before? And I have to like rewatch the whole show and be like, oh yeah, that's right. Um, which is, I, that doesn't, really isn't speaking to the quality of the show, more or less the quality of my brain. Um, I think in recent years, it's been more alarming to me, like the amount of information I retain about um, useless information, such as like camera things, which literally, it's horrible. If anybody ever encounters me in the street and like has a camera, I immediately just go into like full just stupid mode and i'm like oh i'm just like talking I'm like oh do you have this problem with it or like what's this what was that? and it's just it's embarrassing quite frankly now oh, that's awesome i just undid all of my work there because i thought a washer went there when it didn't i gotta reset that awesome um and yeah whereas i could be holding on to the information of like semi-mediocre television shows. Instead, I'm over here remembering 
all sorts of very useful you bastard no match for me haha <laughs> um very useful and beneficial camera information that literally no one's asking for uh and it's yeah at this point it's just i have to like really stop myself because i have to remember no one cares so uh if you ever see me in the streets uh walk the other way for both of our sakes hell yeah okay cool so that's in that's good good enough to go this now sits there you'll notice it has these little notches there and that's what's going to stop it from rewinding it sits in like like so and then da, da, da. this goes in like that and then i think it was these i don't remember that feels right these go in i guess i didn't have to take this part off maybe i did i don't remember was this no no we're good i think i think we're good i think we got it semi figured out and then i think that is how that goes and then this goes in the top like that bam, 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 ba -dum, bam, bam. okay and then that sits there. And then that comes back over Yep. Just gotta just gotta get there. Okay, okay, okay. Boom. Okay, yep, that all lines up. And then, and then this little last piece goes on right there. That actually wasn't too terrible. Um, yeah, that only hurt my brain a little bit. Look at that. I uh, guarantee you that this camera still doesn't work all the way because it was giving me uh, lots of trouble to begin with. But if it did work, that'd be really sick. I'd be super appreciative. So let's give it a rip. Just gonna do a little manual. Yep, nope, that's not it, <laughs> oh buddy. And it is still not wanting to do anything. However, what I think I can fucking hell determine is that this is not the issue because this was working just fine. Um, this was having an issue before where it just wasn't really working at all. Uh, and it appears to still be having that issue. I just can't really locate the direct cause as to why that is occurring. So now what happens is I have both of the mirrors locked in, shutter, cocked, supposedly, allegedly, good to go. And now if I can get this. Yeah. That just to sit right there. <sighs> okay, so now potentially if I discharge this, everything should reset and then I should be able to advance now. But I'm gonna go off on a limb and say that's not the case because 
yeah, I just, there's something fucking weird going on. I don't think it's in here, because I do think that this is all working better now. I don't think it is. It's got to be somewhere in here. Uh, my brain hurts. I am tired. I'm probably going to go to bed now and ponder this in the morning. But in terms of putting the bottom together, as well as my very scattered and random thoughts regarding uh, Witcher season three and season two, because honestly, I, I don't want to rewatch season two because I don't remember it. The only part I remember was the beginning, it's like episode one, I think, when he talks to that dude who's like part wild boar or something. That was pretty dope. And the dude is like dating a vampire lady. And it's like kind of mysterious. And then it turns out like, no, she's actually pretty cool. She's actually a pretty cool lady. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so that's all I remember from that. And I'm not gonna rewatch it because I could care less. And then season one, I'm not gonna rewatch either because it's just kind of miserable. To, to get through and then it, like knowing where the show ends up it's like why would I continue to subject myself to to just feeling generally unhappy when I could I don't know watch something else so that's kind of what I opted to do there um, da -da 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 -da. and then yeah Jack Ryan pretty good show I guess if you're like into kind of light easy breezy espionage stuff with semi interesting characters um, what's his name Krasinski or whatever is an okay actor he's not my favorite there's some lines he delivers where I'm just like okay sure dude um, and yeah the supporting characters in that show are like really good though the dude who does Jim Greer, I kind of like him. There's a, a couple other bits where he'll like say a line. I'm like, all right, whatever. Um, it just seems, seems goofy. Um, the lady who plays Wright is pretty dope. I've enjoyed her screen presence quite a bit. She's like a very interesting character, I think, overall. It's a very like well written female character. Um, and then the dude who plays Mike is one of my favorites. That's just like a great character, I think. And Michael Pena is also in season four, I think it is, the last one. Did not know up until fairly recently that he's a Scientologist. Um, so yeah, if you didn't know that, Michael Pena is a, allegedly a Scientologist. And not that that should like make you feel one way or another about him, or maybe it does, that's fine too. I just found it very interesting because I, I, it just surprises me that people are still Scientologists. Uh, I guess it's one of those things if you kind of get into, it's probably hard to necessarily get out of, but still, you know, it's 2023, what are we, what are we doing here? Uh, that being said, if you want to know my audience is a Scientologist, uh, more power to you. Don't let me tell you how to live your life. I'm just fascinated by the whole prospect and I've made it, made no bones about it, but, um, one of these days, cause what I'll do is I'll go through a, um, an old bookshop or a bookstore of some variety and they got all those like pulp books. I have one right here actually that I just finished reading. It's really bad. Um, but they just look like this and I just find them, I just love it. I love the cover. I love the terrible writing. I love the poor quality paper. It's my favorite thing ever. But, uh, L. Ron Hubbard wrote a lot of them. And one of these days, I just want to collect a couple of his books if I can find them. But just for, just for goofs, just for giggles, just for kicks. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this little longer form video where I just discussed nothing and kind of not at all repair something. I'm going to work on this tomorrow. It's a K1000 light meter. I'm a little bit behind on that. And then I have a couple other projects I got to 
pick up some steam on so got a lot more repair content coming soon i hope thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all the fun repairs and stuff coming up like the video if you enjoyed it and i'll catch you on the next one